think country has to go back to what's really the real stuff. The, the majority of the young guys that had country hits, they came up in a different sounding thing. And now it's saturated to the point, a lot of people look alike, they sound alike, the same musicians on every record, the same tones, the same amps, that all of a sudden you can't tell who's what anymore. And when we were growing up, when you heard Webb go, wandering, wandering, and you heard Lefty, Lefty go, I love you, I'm proving up. Everybody was distinctive, you know. I love you so much that it hurts me, darling. I love you so much it hurts me so much. I don't think uh, that anybody has ever done anything without some influence from my Hank Williams, regardless of what it is. Uh, and if you were to put his picture at any time, whether he was alive back then or now, and have a quiz on what state he was from, it'll probably be Texas, not Alabama, with all due respect to, to uh, Alabama. Uh, uh, it seems like uh, uh, Texas consumed him. <laughs> He played at the barn, and I used to watch him. He was doing Love Sick Blues. And he had a birthday cake and said, Hank Williams, Jambalaya, number one in nation. So he loved kids. He saw me standing around playing steel. He said, kid, you want some of my birthday cake? I'll never forget him carving it up and handing me a piece. And Mama, I'm going to frame this. Hank Williams gave me this cake. See, those guys were a different kind of person, too. They weren't owned by corporations and had managers and PR people. They just went out and got stone drunk and played chase women and you know I mean, it was a different kind of guy I'm so lonesome I cry I don't think that there has ever been a song as 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 that bothers me it bothers the loneliness of that song I mean it disturbs me I don't drink anymore but I think I'd be chuggling up some some beer on that one <laughs> Oh, um. 